I'm about to show you a completely renovated interior designed home in Fulham at 3.25 million pounds. Hello, I'm Grant James Bates. Welcome to the latest episode of London Property Tours for YouTube. I'm not going to stand here and talk on the street for too much because it's a little bit awkward. So come inside and I will walk you through. We are safe and sound inside. There was a slightly creepy man with a dog staring at me from across the roads. So I thought it'd best to do the majority of the tour inside. Too much information, but there you go. That's what you get on my YouTube tours. We are in SW6 in Fulham today, and we are seconds, and I'm not exaggerating, just at the end of the road from Illbrook Common. So lots of green open space. We're also very close, a stone's throw, some estate agents may say, from the New Kings Road, Fulham Broadway Station, Parsons Green, lots of great schools in the area as well. And this house has been completely renovated throughout. Really tastefully done. I love it. And yes, I am selling it, so slightly contrived, but it's a lovely home. It's Victorian. There are five beds, five baths across four floors, and we total just over 3,000 square feet. Right now, we're in the kitchen extension, and the kitchen is actually by Neptune. I'm not sure what this colour is. I committed to powder blue the first time I came and now I'm realising it's definitely not powder blue. Um, we've got some lovely stone tops. The flooring is poured concrete and that's all underfloor heated. The crittle doors and windows look out onto the garden, which is AstroTurf, I believe. Um, sorry to the bees. Lots of glass, skylights, smeg cooker, all your appliances, built in, all the drawers are soft closed as well as you can imagine. You might see the uh, vents and the speaker systems there, they run throughout the house. We've got air conditioning, actually air conditioning is here and in the principal and the Sonos speakers run throughout the house. Um, I also want to show you this very cool picture window which you might be able to see better from the double reception. I really love that picture window actually, framing the view of the kitchen from the double reception. You can see right through to the garden at the back. You do obviously have the option of opening those up and many people do. They create a second walkway through to the, guard, uh, to the kitchen in the garden. I actually did that at a place I lived in West Hampstead, but I think I prefer the picture window. I like to have the space separate. Um, so we're in the double reception now and again, beautifully finished. The flooring is whitewashed herringbone. Great ceiling height, obviously, in a Victorian house. All the cornicing has been restored and remoulded, runs all the way along. Again, you've got the speakers in the ceiling. You've got some lovely ceiling roses as well. The fireplace behind me is marble and it does work. I've seen it in action, probably should have got it in action for the shoot, but there you go. Base ash window to the front, plantation shutters, really beautifully finished. I'm just walking over here because I can't remember if the the windows are double glazed, should have checked that before, but they are double glazed. Um, and that is the ground floor. So we can go up or down now. I think we're gonna go down because the basement and the excavation they've done there is pretty cool. So the lower ground floor, not usually the most impressive spaces in these houses, mainly because people don't excavate, nearly fell over, people don't excavate enough, but here they have properly dug down. I think the ceiling height could be at least the same, if not a little bit taller than the ground floor, which is incredibly rare for a lower ground. So what they've done down here is you have a bedroom, obviously, with an ensuite, so ideal for guests or staff even. You can also get to the outside just uh, behind where Derek's filming there as well. Lots of storage this side, utility room here. So we have another reception back here. Again, you've got this brilliant ceiling height throughout this whole floor, white washed wide plank oak that's a mouthful if you're asking 
there is also steps up to the garden, really beautifully tiled as well. And these huge floor to ceiling, almost glass sliding patio doors. The area just behind me here has been staged as a gym, but I guess that's multi-purpose, right? It could be a study, could be whatever you want it to be, but currently staged as a gym. there are five beds and five baths as I told you at the start what I didn't tell you is four of those bedrooms are suites meaning they have an ensuite bathroom the only bedroom that doesn't is the kids room to the back of the house on the first floor but there's a bathroom right next door so it's basically a suite we're in the principal suite right now bay window here again with plantation shutters it basically matches the one in the ground floor reception that I showed you earlier but there's the addition of this door out onto the balcony, which is onto the street, which I think is very cool. There's a walk-in wardrobe and an ensuite bathroom. That ensuite bathroom is courtesy of Lee Froy Brooks. It's got a freestanding stone tub, some beautiful tiling, rainfall shower, double sink, all the things you would want in a principal suite. The rest of the bathrooms are courtesy of Burton May and CP Hart. I forgot to mention these earlier, vaulted ceilings at the back of the extension, which I think are rather cool. The property is available now at 3.25 million pounds sterling. If you have any questions or you wanna take a look, drop me a line. If you've enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And as always, you can follow me across all platforms, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. And the handle is at Grant J Bates. Take care.